In this video, we're running it back with the MP5. I found a class set that it can compete with the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. This is currently the talk of the town in Warzone, and I do believe this is a viable weapon here in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit those notifications, and as always, shout out the notification squad. If you guys want to shout, make sure you guys comment, Nodi Gang, down in the comment section. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and run it back with the new absolute best and fastest killing mp5 class setup in modern warfare 3 this thing has been the talk of the town in warzone i want to see if it was viable here in multiplayer and actually it is now for the first attachment we are starting off with a muzzle and we are going to be running the shadow strike suppressor s just to take us off the radar this is a very important attachment on the mp5 allowing us to get on the spawn and build up a quick and easy streak if you do not run this you're not gonna have a fun time because this weapon is gonna be good at those close to medium ranges if you want to get into a long range gunfight it's in your best interest to pick up a weapon off the ground whether that be a battle rifle or some type of assault rifle now to go ahead and help this weapon out even more in its respective ranges we are going to be running a barrel now unlike modern warfare 2 Two, we are not going to be rocking that Falcon 226 millimeter barrel. Instead, we're going to be rocking the FTAC M sub 12 inch barrel to bump up bullet velocity, damage range, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. We're going to need this on the submachine gun because a lot of the modern for two weapons, especially the submachine guns, suffer from a lot of ver vertical vertical recoil as well as visceral recoil we want to go ahead and minimize that as much as possible now i'm getting ptsd from that stuff we have to deal with in modern warfare 2 luckily this is going to help us out tremendously here in modern warfare 3 you have to go ahead and have this on your setup now to go ahead and smooth out the recoil pattern we are going to run an under barrel and i do recommend running the camaro ryan 03 vertical grip on the mp5 to go ahead and bump up even more gun kick control vertical recoil control, aim out of sway control ability, as well as firing aiming stability, so you can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing. This is going to overall make sure this weapon is staying locked and loaded and accurate at longer ranges, so you're not going ahead and wasting an entire mag trying to take one person out, and then somebody else comes around the corner. Nah, I ain't going to have with this class setup. You can take out two, three people without an issue with this build, and that's exactly why I love it. You're going to be locked and loaded at all times, because you're not going to have to take, you know, 29 out of your 30 shots to kill somebody. Now, to go ahead and extend the long-range potential, if you do get into those gunfights, even though I do recommend you picking up a gun off the ground, and overall just kind of making sure these Modern for 2 weapons are in line with Modern for 3, we are going to run ammunition. We're going to be rocking the 9mm high-grain rounds. Now, I do understand it does remove some of the recoil control, but, this is a very big but, the damage range as well as bullet velocity is going to be very noticeable when running this attachment. I highly recommend rocking this unless you want to have a hit marker machine. Definitely go ahead and give this a try. You're going to see in the firing range, this setup is still very, very controllable. Now, what we're also going to be doing with this setup is running a magazine. 30 is not going to be enough because we are going to be running and gunning. And because we are running a different perk, the 40 round mag is going to be a phenomenal choice on the MP5, allowing us to take out more than two people at the same time with this setup once you go ahead and jump into the firing range you're going to see here that this class even though we do have a recoil reducing attachment here we are still going to have a very very controllable locksman sub mp5 build that's going to be a straight laser definitely go ahead and give this a try now if you for whatever reason cannot control the recoil with the high grain rounds feel free to take this off and put on the Lockman TCG-10 to go ahead and bump up some more recoil control. You're going to see here that this build is still going to be controllable. It's just that you're just having to take a couple extra shots at range. In my personal opinion, I would highly recommend you guys getting used to running the high grain on this specific submachine gun. When the build, we are going to be running the core 45 with its conversion kit transforming it into a submachine gun we're also gonna be rocking the 40 round drum we have on the sl skeletal vertical grip here we have on the colossus suppressor xs version to go ahead and bump up some more recoil and take us off the radar and we are going to be running the xrk the embers in stock courtesy of the conversion kit because we now have the ability to run a stock with our pistol submachine gun 
Do not forget we're running munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, a bone conduction headset, and mag holster to go ahead and speed up your reload because the Lockman sub, aka the MP5, has a painfully slow reload. We do not want to get caught with our pants down. And then finally, we have on the comms vest, allowing us to go ahead and pretty much have a 24-7 UAV. Every time you kill somebody, wherever the body, they're dropping a radar beacon, letting you know where they are and it's going to be super important with a run and gun setup now if you go ahead and check out the lockman sub the mp5 is a fun weapon to use here in modern warfare 3 it's currently the talk of the town in warzone and i do believe that you can cause some serious damage in multiplayer with this setup if you guys enjoy feel free drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn those notifications and uh let's get in the gameplay all right let's get busy with the mp5 i found a pretty decent setup for multiplayer I'm getting chased. I think I'm dead right here. We live to fight another day. I think I literally saw some guy running an EM. I'll take it. I just completely lost my train of thought. Because things got crazy. As you guys can see here, I actually had to ratify my class setup. Shit. And put a mag hoster. Oh, damn. Advanced. Advanced. You know what? That's annoying. I think that was the guy that I shot too. What do you have? I don't even know what I don't even, I don't even know what he had, but that's annoying. Incredibly annoying. Get a flank. I'll take that bass B. Fuck, come on, bro. I gotta get another set before this shit goes away. Teammate, if you do not have ghost or... I can't see a damn thing. Reinforcements inbound. Yeah, that's a death. Just look at that. Uh oh. Objective located. Move to secure. I'm gonna need some help to drop this down. Securing the 
24. They're gonna spawn on top of my ass too. They're, they're gonna spawn back here. I don't have an advance, which is irritating. Stand by for next location. I hear him. Look at this. Oh my God. Rotate this way. Where? Yes. Holy shit. I don't have ghost on this setup. How did I know, bro? The kid, dude. The enemy secured the a TYR? Whatever. At least we got the nuke. Imagine if I would have died one off a nuke to a TYR. I would have lost full. We still got plenty of time, too. I mean, I could get a double for sure. A double is 110% possible in this room. What do you have? I'm not taking that up. I'm gonna spawn back here though, I think. Again. They did, but not in the area that I thought. Rotate this way. There's like five kids over here. Look at that rat. <laughs> Imagine. HQ is online. Capture the object. We're securing the headquarters. Enemy is Time is half over. Maintain the lead. Enemy near the HQ. Secure the perimeter. Rotate this way. Enemy inside the perimeter. Can't even see, bro. Shit, I'm packet bursting now. Whoa, whoa, why am I packet bursting? Yo, yo, why am I packet bursting now? 117 ping, what the heck? I... <laughs> Imagine. Yo, why are we packet bursting? Oh, servers are, servers are definitely broke. Servers are chalked. 118 ping. Yeah, there goes the servers. GG, boys. Somebody just left. Yeah, I don't blame you. Dude. Bro, nobody can move. Yeah, it's... Are you... Come on, game. 117, for real? It was like 30, which is still high. If this doesn't stop in the next 30 seconds, I'm just going to call the nuke and end the game if I even can. Secure the object. The enemy's capturing the objective. Trying to get a wall bang. I'm, I'm still running at 117 ping. Okay. Back to 23. Which is weird because that was...
better than it was earlier before the lag huh Ooh, what is on this? We've lost the lead. Hostile UAV in the area. The enemy is gaining ground. Push them back. Not too sure exactly they're gonna be popping up at, but we need to shut that down. There's still there's still potential in this room. I think they're gonna spawn directly across. We begin. The HQ. Secure the perimeter. The HQ is down. Stand by for next location. looking for me for real yeah the bullet wreck is still off that was low-key my chance to try to get another set but I mean we probably got like one or two more chances max Back it up. Enemy UAV active. Friendly mosquito deployed. Hostile cruise missile incoming. Oh, that's gonna hit us. Oh, maybe not. Advanced. I just got I have to make this Renetti. Bro, I just got two shot by by the Renetti. Oh my I gotta make this class setup next. I just got destroyed. I'm calling it in. I just got destroyed by the Renetti. Yeah, I'm making that setup. There's no way. People have been telling me to make that shit for a while. Yeah, okay. I'm convinced now. I just got melted by that Renetti. I'm calling the nuke in. There's no way. Let's go, baby. We would have. Oh no, we would have definitely won, even if I didn't call it in. Ninety-one, not bad, not bad.